Let's start with the most basic method which most people don't know about, especially beginners. Click this little icon here, go from full to over half or one quarter. So now when you scroll through your timeline, you can see it's extra smooth and it's not going to affect your final export. Next, it's all about proxies, probably the most effective method. So what you want to do is basically highlight all of your clips. I recommend doing this before starting your edit. So highlight all of your clips that you have already imported. You want to right click on them and then head over to proxy and then click on create proxies. Now this tab will show you want to change the format from H.264 to QuickTime and the preset to either ProRes Medium or Low. I do recommend Medium because Low looks really bad. So Medium is like balanced and then keep the destination next to Original Media just so you know it's easier for you and then click OK. Now what's going to happen is Media Encoder will launch and it's going to do its thing. You just need to wait. Once that's complete, you want to head back into Premiere Pro and you want to find this toggle proxies button and enable it. If it's not there, what you want to do is click the button editor and you want to just drag the button over here and all you need to do is toggle it so right now it's off and that's on simple next it's all about frame size and frame rate please stop editing over 1080p if you don't need to especially if you make tiktok edits you don't need to go above 1080p there's no point not only is editing going to be a much smoother experience but rendering is going to be faster and overall you just save so much time because your clips might not even be in 4k as for frame rates it's up to you but let's say you're editing on 60 go for 30 instead a big mistake editors make is worrying too much about the visual quality of the edits rather than actually learning new skills and learning new transitions effects so please do that instead next it's all about compression and i'm going to be using handbrake which is a lifesaver so i'm just going to drag my clip onto handbrake down in the description i've left a preset this one is a bit outdated so i'll leave a updated version but you want to head over to presets and then click add presets and import it then it should appear here so just click on preset file size reduction make any adjustments so for example i don't want any subtitles if there are any so i'm just going to click clear if you don't want any audio then click clear as well but all you need to do is just select your save location and click start encode soon i'm going to make an updated and more detailed guide for handbrake but basically this cuts down the file file size and also converts it to something that's a bit more compatible with Premiere Pro. I think certain codecs, correct me if I'm wrong, but certain codecs don't work as well with Premiere Pro, which can cause a lot of lag. And the final method is get a job. Listen, even if you were like me and you had to wait a few years until you were like 18, this might be your only option. Get a job, get paid, save up and then get a PC or, or maybe upgrade your specs. It's really the only logical option. And I know, you know, not everyone can afford new specs, which is why I say it takes a while. Just be patient. Thank you very much to my members as always for their continued support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.